Hi, this is Ryan from rapidweaverclassroom.com, and we're going to look at the process of upgrading from RapidWeaver 5 to RapidWeaver 6 in this video. And ideally, the process will be very straightforward for you, but with all kinds of third-party plugins available for RapidWeaver, there can be potential issues that make the upgrade difficult. And so my hope with this video is that we can walk through some different scenarios and help you make the transition smoothly. So what I want to do is to begin here at the Real Mac Software website. We're here at realmacsoftware.com slash rapidweaver slash upgrade, where we have some steps that we want to follow. And so I would encourage you to come here first. We will actually need to use this page to grab a link here in step two. But the first step here is to update your RapidWeaver 5 plugins. This is important because when we launch RapidWeaver 6 for the first time, it's going to ask if we want to copy our add-ons from RapidWeaver 5. In order for that to work successfully, we need to make sure that all of our RapidWeaver 5 plugins are up to date first. So I'm going to walk you through um, what I consider to be the best method for ensuring that you have every added plugin updated. So let's hide this. Let's go into RapidWeaver 5. I'm going to create a new project for the purpose simply of adding all of the pages that are available as third-party plugins that I've installed. So I'm going to come to the Add Page button. Accordion, for example, is a third-party plugin, so I'll choose that and immediately I'm presented with this update notification. So this is the intention of adding um, all of your third-party plugins to a project to see if they prompt you for an upgrade. The very first one off the bat, Accordion has, so I do want to do that. I want to install the update. So I'm going to click on Install. It's going to install and relaunch. I don't need to save the project. I can just reload it here. So I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to come back. I'm going to choose Accordion again, even though I just updated it, just to make sure there's no um, additional incremental update that is offered and there's not there's nothing's um, popping up telling me that I have one available so I'm going to move on to the next plug I'm going to choose blocks and choose that and it's here now and so far no notifications so it's probably going to be fine for me to move on and so you see the idea we're going to go through any third-party plugins that you have available and choose those and add those to the project let me do one more let me come down and grab weaver picks for example I'm going to choose that plugin here we are, we have an update notification, so I will install the update. I'm going to let it download and install. And so we've installed Weaver Picks now. I kind of jumped ahead to let that do its thing. So we're back in Rapid Weaver. I'm going to create a new project again, and I'm going to come back. Again, I want to check Weaver Picks to make sure there's no additional incremental update. So I'll go ahead and add that and choose it to add to my project. And there's no notification coming up to let me know. So that looks fine. Now, this idea of clicking through each plugin will hopefully prompt you for a majority of your third-party plugins to let you know that there are updates available, assuming that there are. Um, but I want to note that not every single plugin will necessarily update you and notify you right from RapidWeaver. So for example, I'm going to add a page and I'm going to choose Plus Kit right here. And I know for a fact that this is not the most recent version of the software. Yet, at the same time, it's not notifying me of an update. So the process really for you is to go through and add each plug into a project, update the ones that tell you there's an update, and then at that point, go ahead and close out of RapidWeaver. So I'm going to do that. We're going to move on to step two. We're not entirely sure necessarily that we have all of our plugins up to date, but we're going to go ahead and move to step two. So let's go back to our browser to the updates upgrade page. And step two says to update to RapidWeaver 5.4 and export your projects to a version that will be working in RapidWeaver 6. So you want to come here, download RapidWeaver 5.4, install it, replace your existing version of RapidWeaver, and then open up your project file or project files if you're working on multiple projects. So let's do that. Let's open up this project file, which is built in RapidWeaver 5. I'm going to double click this file to launch. This is using Stacks. This is using Weaver Picks. This is using Formloom. And this is using PlusKit. And so these are the only plugins being used in this project. And the hope is that I can export at this point, that now that I've updated, or at least think I've updated my plugins. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Export to Rapid Weaver 6. And I receive a message that says Unable to Export Incompatible Plugins. And there it lists PlusKit. Now, like I said, I knew going into this that PlusKit needed an update, but I want to show you this as a potential scenario where maybe you have a plugin installed that does not notify you that there's an update available. So PlusKit would, would be one of those potentially for you. 
So what I need to do at this point is I need to go and get the latest version of Pluskit manually. So I'm going to say OK. And I have a couple of options. One is to go to the Real Mac community site under plugins. This lists many of the Rapid Weaver plugins. Chances are a majority of these will notify you in Rapid Weaver that there's an update if there is one. Um, but on the off chance that they do not, you can come here. So for example, I could go to Payloom and I could click on the demo button to download Payloom and install that. Now I don't in this case need Payloom. I need um, Plus Kit, and it's not actually listed here at this moment in the community area. It's not been submitted yet to be added. So I need to go to the developer's website. And if you do not know the developer by name, you can do a Google search. So you could, for example, search Plus Kit Rapid Weaver, and that would get you there. It just so happens that for Plus Kit, loghound.com is the website. And there's a note here on the home page about updates for plugins. So I'm going to go click there. And here we have a couple of lists. We have lists of Rapid Weaver 5 plugins and Rapid Weaver 6 plugins. Now we are trying to export out of Rapid Weaver 5. So we actually need the latest version of the Rapid Weaver 5 plugin. And that's what I want to do here. So these are all of the Logcount plugins. And here are links to download those. So I'm going to come to the Plus Kit download, click on that. It's going to download. I'm going to open up my downloads folder. And here is the zip file. So I'm going to move some windows out of the way here, close out of this project for a moment, unzip the plus kit, and here is the plus kit Rapid Weaver plugin file. So I'm going to double click on that. It's telling me that it's been installed. This is actually installing it in Rapid Weaver 6. So in that case, because I have Rapid Weaver 6 installed on my system, it may not have installed in Rapid Weaver 5. So let's take a look. Let me double click into the project. Again, open up Rapid Weaver 5. Let's try again to export. Export to Rapid Weaver 6, and I still get the message. So even though I've downloaded and attempted to install Plus Kit, it's not allowing me to do so. So I'm going to say OK, quit out of Rapid Weaver, and now I want to do something a bit different. I want to take this plugin, I want to drag it down, and I want to drop it on top of Rapid Weaver 5 in my dock. So if you don't have Rapid Weaver 5 and Rapid Weaver 6 in your dock, I would go ahead and put them there so that you're able to do this if needed. So again, I'm going to drop this plugin on top of the Rapid Weaver 5 application in my dock. When I do that, Rapid Weaver asks if it can install, and I say yes, update and restart. So hopefully now it's there. Let's open up that project one more time. Let's try again to export the site. Export to Rapid Weaver 6. And now it's asking me where I want to save my project. So that's great. It no longer gives me that notification. That means that PlusKit is updated. And that means that all of the active plugins in this project are updated. And that's a key to note. That means that Stacks, WeaverPix, Formloom, and PlusKit in this case are all up to date. That does not necessarily mean that every single plugin in my list is up to date. It's only checking the ones that are active for this project. So if you have multiple projects, and if each project uses a different combination of plugins, you're going to want to go through this process with each project to make sure that all your plugins get updated and that you can export. So let's do it again. Let's go to File Export to Rapid Weaver 6. I'm going to save this to my desktop. And then I want to take you to my Finder. Get out of here. Here's my Rapid Weaver 5 project. I've just saved the new one to my desktop. So I'm going to move it into this folder, and you can see the difference as I do that. We have a different icon. We have the file extension .rw6 for this project. So let's go back to the update upgrade page and see what it has for us next. It says launch Rapid Weaver 6 and follow the upgrade prompts. So it's not actually recommending that we open up our project yet. Even though I've exported this and it's available for use in Rapid Weaver 6, it's not recommending that I open this yet. I'm going to open Rapid Weaver 6 first on its own. So let me come down, choose Rapid Weaver 6. And for me, in my case, it's opening up the projects window. Now, I have already registered Rapid Weaver 6. I have not yet copied my add-ons, but I have registered it. So um, if this is your very first time to open Rapid Weaver 6, instead of getting this projects window, you're going to get a dialog asking if you want to copy over your add-ons, and you want to say yes to that. I'm going to get there a different way. So if this is your scenario, if you've already opened Rapid Weaver 6 before but not copied your add-ons yet, then the process that you want to take is to close out the projects window, come to Rapid Weaver, and choose Copy Add-ons from Rapid Weaver 5. 
at this point, it's asking us where the add-ons are located. It should pretty much every time arrive at the correct location, unless you did something different with your Rapid Weaver folder. But chances are you have not. Chances are this is the right place. This is under Library Application Support Rapid Weaver. This on the right contains all of your add-ons. So the, you will find plugins, stacks, uh, themes, all listed here. And yours, of course, will differ depending on what you have installed. So I'm going to choose Open. This tells Rapid Weaver 6 where the files are located. And then this is the message that you would see if you're opening Rapid Weaver 6 for the very first time. Do you want to copy your add-ons? Yes. So let's do that. When we do that, this is going to start spinning. It may take some amount of time, depending on how many add-ons that you have um, available to be transferred. So it's just moving your themes, your plugins, and your stacks over to be used in Rapid Weaver 6. So I'm going to give it just a moment to complete, and then we'll resume. So I've now been notified that the add-ons have been copied to Rapid Weaver 6. Let me click on Continue. And now I want to try and opening up, opening up this project. So let's double click that. And here is my project in Rapid Weaver 6. Let me just size this up a bit so we can see it better. And I can now click through each of these pages to ensure that they look as I expect. So this is Stacks, Weaver Picks, Form Loom, and Plus Kit. And those look fine. I can also verify they are installed by going to Add, going to All Plugins. I can find those listed here as well. Now I mentioned that when we exported our project from Rapid Weaver 5, that it was only going to check on the plugins that we had active in that project file. Now if you have other add-ons, other plugins that you've purchased and added to Rapid Weaver 5, but maybe you're not using in that particular project, then there may be an issue where you come into Rapid Weaver 6 and find that those specific plugins are not moved over. Now let me come back to the add page for a moment, look at one more thing. You'll notice that I do have stacks, Weaver Picks, and the Form Loom plugin, but you'll see that I also have Carousel and Accordion. Now these two plugins are not being used in my project, but they were copied over from Rapid Weaver 5 because they were up to date with the latest versions that include a Rapid Weaver 6 version of the plugin. Now I do have more plugins that were not copied over. So if you run into this scenario where plugins that are not being used in the project but you do own are not being copied, then what we need to do at this point is get Rapid Weaver 6 versions of those files to install. Um, so let's go back in a similar way. We'll go back and first visit the community area. So for example, if I owned a date loom, I would come here, click on the demo button, let that download. We would go into the finder, open up date loom, and this is an .rw plugin file. So let me do this. I'm going to double click that. With Rapweaver 6 open, it does happen to install. And that's great. So I can say OK. I can quit out of my project. Go ahead and save it. And then I want to open up my project again. So I'll go ahead and double click to open. And let's take a look and see if that um, add on is installed here. So I'm going to go to All Plugins. And here we find Dateloom. So Dateloom has been installed inside of Rapid Weaver 6 simply by going and getting that latest version of the plugin. Now, if, for example, I had launched and double-clicked on this plugin file, and let's just say that Rapid Weaver 5 opened up asking if I wanted to install it. That's a problem because we want this installed in Rapid Weaver 6. There is a possibility that could happen. It's not likely, but if it does, it's simply a matter of doing what we did before in a similar way, where we drag and drop the plugin on top of the application we want to install it into. So I'm going to take this and drag it down on my dock and hover it over Rapid Weaver 6 in this case, and that's how I would install it. Now, I don't need to do that now because it is installed there, but that would be how you'd go about installing a plugin for a specific application. So it works either way. If you needed this to be installed in Rapid Weaver 5, you could drag it on top of Rapid Weaver 5, and then vice versa with Rapid Weaver 6. So the process of updating um, all of your plugins first allows them to be moved over to Rapid Weaver 6. It also allows your project file to be exported because Rapid Weaver 5.4 can only export projects that have all of the plugins up to date. And then for any plugins that remain um, in Rapid Weaver 5 and haven't transferred over to version 6, you would just go and get the latest versions. 
Ideally, in those cases, those versions would be available straight from the community area here, simply by going to one of those particular plugins, clicking on the item, and clicking on the demo to download. In the cases that they are not here in the community area, you will need to go out to those developers' websites. And again, if you don't know the name of the developer, a quick Google search should get you there very quickly. So that really um, should cover you for the different scenarios that you might encounter when trying to upgrade. Um, but if you follow these steps in order, then chances are good that you will have success. So I hope this is helpful, and thank you for watching.